play the bow diagonally across the fingers with the second thing, r finger roughly where the grip ends and where the frog ends. The third finger is down against the Parisian eye, that mother of pearl, pinky resting on top, the first finger between the first and second joint, the thumb between the grip and the frog at a 45 degree angle, and turn it upside down. And what you'll notice is it doesn't look much different than if I weren't holding a bow. The whole idea is how would the hand want to hold a bow naturally, you see, if I don't do anything. And when, you, when we, we lay it in the hand that way, we get a grip that's fairly similar to if we weren't even holding a bow. So you'll see the fingers are all rounded and can all wiggle. Nothing's locked. You see? It's all, if you can wiggle your fingers without feeling like you're going to drop the bow, then you probably have a good, comfortable bow grip. We'll talk more about that. But that's the basic grip, Franco-Belgian bow grip.